All right, the uh, file linked app, no one is really sure what's going on with it right now. Um, we have a temporary fix worked out. Luckily, it's not too hard of one. And we found a little shortcut to make it easier. For those of you that have been waiting on this video, I apologize uh, for the delay. Um, we had the new baby, things have been crazy, and I have been incredibly overwhelmed. So, um, your home screen may look a little different. Um, Amazon did some kind of huge update. Um, for those of you that that your home screen looks different at this step you're going to hit the left button and it's going to bring up this window it's going to automatically bring up like the little search window that's if you're on the old software if you're on the new one and your home screen looks like this you're going to go to find and then you're going to hit the down button and go to search. So just click OK. And then type in down. Once you get down typed in, it should bring up downloader down here. That's what you're looking for. So just click on downloader. And that's the app that you're looking for. The orange and white one. So just click OK on it. And this is where you got the option to download the app. So click download. Give it just a second and it'll queue it up. Usually it doesn't take very long to download. Um, even if you do have a slow internet connection, it should download pretty fast. But once we get this downloader app open, um, we're going to, we're going to make things pretty easy from there. Um, so, give us just a second. It's almost done. I have satellite internet connection and things work extremely slow here. So, um, uh, give me just a second here. All right, it's installing. When it gets done installing, go ahead and click open. And then click allow. And then click OK. Now, um, up here you see a little bar, enter a URL or search term, and then you see a go. Um, so go to the little box where you enter a URL and this is where we've made it easy instead of entering a URL you're going to enter a five digit code so for example we want to download the Hive app we're going to do 99502 and then you're going to click go so give it just a few seconds and this will these links here are really long links and that's what you'd have to type in if we didn't have these codes so we figured out these codes and we figured out how to make it easy so um, as I said my internet is very very slow so uh, bear with me um, let this Hive app download and um, and we will finish in just a minute. All right, for um, for this one, you are going to want to select settings there. Um, when you first install an app, um, you are going to have settings here you're going to have to go in and um, enable uh, un unknown apps to install to your fire stick so just make sure you're on settings and click on uh, unknown install apps make sure it's white click on it you may download or may not be right where it is on mine just flip up and down until you see it 
Uh, when you see it, just click on it once, and you'll see all the other ones are off, but Downloader is on. Um, hit the Back button here. Hit the Install button here. You'll see... Uh, you'll see it allow you to install it now and and this part doesn't matter you see I'm installing null keyboard this works the exact same way for Hive, Falcon, Twisted whatever app you're just going to be putting a different code into the downloader app but this process will stay the same um, and when that's done you can just click done and um, hit the home button from there and uh, this step's optional. Um, you might be using download and downloader a little bit to um, to download some apps. So beside the gear icon, you have another little app there that will show you all your apps and channels. Uh, just in my case, I scrolled down to downloader, and the three horizontal lines on the remote on the remote, you click it. And it will give you the option to move the app. Where is it at? Here it comes. Okay. So you've got the option to move. And you click that. And move it wherever you want it. Or you can move it to the front. Which is my preference. Because you can just get to it so easily. So, um. Let's see. That is, um. That's about it on uh, downloading new apps. Um, there it is. There's the downloader app. And you'll see it's right there on your home screen so you can get to it really easily. And like I said, this is the same process for every app. Uh, you'll just be using a different code. And um, I think that's it.